मेरी माँ के कंगन लौटा दे लाला फ्रॉम दैट टू मेरे पास माँ है भाई टू माँ मेरी माँ से मिला दे मुझे ममता का मैं वास्ता दू तुझे बाई नाउ यू ऑल मस्ट हैव गॉट एन एन आइडिया ऑफ वॉट माई ब्लॉग इज अबाउट इट्स अबाउट माँ सिनेमा द मदर ऑफ एंटरटेनमेंट हेलो गाइज आई एम क्रेश उपाध्याय वेलकम बैक टू अनदर ब्लॉग ऑफ यंगेस्ट ट्रैवलर डायरीज टूडे वी आर एट द नेशनल म्यूजियम ऑफ इंडियन सिनेमा विच इज लोकेटेड इन साउथ मुंबई पेडर रोड This museum is divided into two parts. First up is the Gulshan Mahal which is divided into nine sections which showcase the journey of a 100 years of the Indian cinema. The next up is the new museum building which has four exhibition halls. As part of the film's divisions complex and still retaining its pristine grandeur like a jewel in the crown on Mumbai's Spreader Road, the 19th century bungalow, now known as the Gulshan Mahal, was once named Gulshan Abad, which means Garden of Prosperity, whose first known owner was Pierre Boy Kalakdina, a merchant from Kutch, Gujarat. During the World War II, the government had converted this building into a hospital for soldiers. Then, during the partition, the building was acquired by the government of India as an evacuee property. In 1976, offices of the films division were shifted to a new building constructed on the campus. The present Gulshan Mahal is a heritage structure that appropriately houses the first phase of the National Museum of Indian Cinema. We are in the first section of Gulshan Mahal. It is called the origin of cinema. First up is the Paxinoscope. It's an optical toy that was invented in the year 1877 by the French man Charles Renaud. Let's have a look. This mural here shows the Indian tradition of visual storytelling. The magic lantern was an optical toy that was also used as an early age projector. This mural here shows the history of motion pictures and the screen shows the history of optical toys, murals and patchitras. Maria Sestier had stopped at Mumbai and presented the first reels ever shot of real films at the Watson's Hotel and the audience saw six short films that evening this screening generated lot of excitement for shows which were screened at Novelty Theater which had a larger seating capacity and there were films that were accompanied by an orchestra that attracted house full shows this zoetrope is another optical illusion toy which is an ancestor of the praxinoscope dedicated and hard working the pioneers of indian cinema were enthralled by the magic of the moving image and played an important role in the evolution of cinema from a simple curiosity to a dynamic art form
These are some of the old cinema halls in the Indian subcontinent. The mutoscope is a peep show device which has a movie roll inside. Have a look. This is the thaumatrope. It's also an optical device which merges two images together. George Eastman, an American entrepreneur, founded the Eastman Kodak Company and invented the celluloid-based roll film. This phenakistope is also an optical toy. You can see the horse galloping through this mirror. The Lumiere brothers, Auguste and Louis Lumiere, were the ones to give birth to the big screens, all thanks to their revolutionary camera and projector, the cinema photography. The word cinema is derived from this word too. We will now enter the Indian silent film section. First up, you can see the pioneers of silent era. These are some of the heroines of the silent era. These are some of the cinema across India. Here you can see the glimpses of the silent era. One such famous legend in our country was the father of Indian cinema, Sri Dada Sahib Falke. His debut film, Raja Harish Chandra, was the first feature film in India. I would like to narrate one incident from Dada Sahib's early life. Once Dada Sahib and his family went for the movies and saw a silent film on the life of Jesus Christ. Dada Sahib was immediately inspired and saw Indian gods on the screen. This made a turning point in his career and life and which inspired him to make Raja Harishchandra. This is a set of Raja Harishchandra. These are some of the early stars of the silent era. We know some of them like Prithvi Raj Kapoor and Himanshu Rai. We will now enter the advent of sound section. These are some of the early attempts to render sound. 
This is the 35 mm RCA optical recorder used for recording final optical soundtracks for printing purposes. These are some of the lobby cards. This is the Atom 16 mm camera. This camera is a lightweight sync sound camera for shooting documentaries and was widely used during the 80s. These are also some of the lobby cards. These are some of the momentous changes. The talkies spread across India. Alam Mara was the first talkie movie. The talkies were made in many languages. The introduction of playback music in the Indian cinema. You can sing yourself. Here are some of the cameras used during this period. In Gulshan Mahal, there are many walls with famous movie posters and their timeline during which they were released. I will be taking you through all the walls. To make it a little more interesting, I will be delivering iconic dialogues from the famous movies on all walls. You have to guess the name of the movie and the year it was released in, in the comment section down below. Avara was the first hit movie in the box office. Ye garibi aur bekari ka ilaj 400 BC nahi. Uska ilaj hai himmat aur mehnat. Uska ilaj hai sare desh ki tarakki aur janta ka eka. Dayare daya chargyo papi bichhuwa Salim kya pehlu mein anar kali hindustan ki malika hogi Jahan apne aap sar chuk jate hai wo patthar bhi bhagwan ka roop maan liya jata hai Jis jagah ko dekh ke parmatma ki yaad aati hai wo तीर्थ कहलाता है और जिस आदमी के दर्शन से परमात्मा में भक्ति जागे वो महात्मा कहलाता है बाबू शाय जिंदगी और मौत ऊपर वाले के हाथ है जावना उसे ना तो आप बदल सकते हैं ना मैं हम सब तो रंग मंच की कठपुतलियां हैं जिनकी दौर ऊपर वाले की उंगलियों में बंदी है कौन कब कैसे उठेगा वो कोई नहीं जानता हा 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 तुम्हारा नाम क्या है बसंती खेलाना ही जीते तो तीन गुना लगान
या कच्चा तुरन आर कर कैस रिंगार जिंदगी जीने के दो तरीके होते हैं एक जो हो रहा है होने दो बर्दाश्त करते जाओ या फिर जिम्मेदारी उठाओ उसे बदलने की दिस डो वी विल नाउ एंटर द स्टूडियो एरा दिस टाइम लाइन शोज द राइज ऑफ द स्टूडियो सिस्टम फ्रॉम द साइलेंट एरा टू द टॉकी एरा This movie Devdas has been filmed into various versions starting with the silent version. The cinema also contributed in the rise of nationalist spirit during the British rule. Many movies were based on famous books written by famous authors starting from Rabindranath Tagore to Chetan Bhagat. Oh wow, look at these stamps. They are based on Indian movies. With this door we will now enter the impact of World War 2. Any discussion of Indian cinema would be incomplete without the mention of Satyajit Ray. Known in the film industry as Manik Da, Ray was one of the most respected Indian filmmakers. He created magic in films with minimal resources. Lot of movies were made to show the changing scenario of the country during and after the partition. After the World War II, a creative directors made films showing the social disturbances in our country to spread a ray of hope among the countrymen. We will now enter the creative resonance section. Lights, camera, action. These three magical words used by these creative filmmakers to create magic on screen. That's all guys from the part 1 of the National Museum of Indian Cinema. See you all in the part 2. So stay tuned till then.